Hello world! In this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a responsive navigation. We created this landing page in a previous live stream. Looks pretty nice, but we haven't added a responsive nav. So if we are opening inspect here and we're checking for mobile, you can see that the links here are not responsive. So in this tutorial we're going to learn how to take this navigation, add the hamburger menu and then make the nav appear underneath here on the mobile. All right, roll the intro. All right, so here we have our HTML for this website. We have the CSS file and I created a JavaScript file, which is empty for now. We're going to need a little bit of JavaScript to toggle a class for the nav list. All right, let's look how the nav is now created. So we have a nav tag, which has the image, which is the logo here. And then we have an unordered list with the list items. So pretty simple. Let's look at the styling. The nav with display flex and the items are justified count and space between. So we have the space here. So basically it pushes the image on the left and the nav UL on the right. Also, the nav UL is display flex and everything in the center. And we have a little bit of styling for the links to make them white and a little bit of padding. So nothing very complicated. Okay, let's see. So the first thing will be to add the hamburger button. So let's add it here before the UL. That's because we're going to use Flexbox to have the image here on the left and the button here on the right and then we're going to push down the ul so it will be on a separate row here that's why we have to edit before the ul so button with a class of hamburger and let's also add an idea of hamburger so we can target it later in the javascript and inside we're going to have a font awesome icon fas fa bars now if we save you can see that the button appeared here with the hamburger icon there. We have the ID here on the button and also we have the ID here on the UL which we're going to use later in JavaScript. Now let's style the button. Fill in the style.css underneath the nav UL. Let's add hamburger. We need the background color to be transparent so we don't see the white background color. Let's remove the border color should be white. Let's increase the font size 20 pixels. All right, now we can see the hamburger it's white and it's bigger in font size. Also maybe we want a cursor pointer so we can see it's clickable. Okay, let's see now. All right, good. And let's remove that outline there. Hamburger on the focus state. We're going to have outline be none. All right. Good, perfect. Now let's resize the page and you can see that on mobile it's all squished in there. So we're going inside the media queries. We have here a media screen and max width 767 pixels. So this code block will be applied for the elements when the screen size is less than 767 pixels. All right, so here first thing will be to hide the nav because by default we don't want to see the nav. So nav ul, because that's the class, we want it to be display none. All right, look at that. So now we can see the hamburger button being displayed there and the nav is hidden. Another thing will be to hide the hamburger menu on a desktop. So let's go back here and by default the hamburger menu will be display none like that. So we don't want to see the hamburger menu on desktop. Now if we resize on mobile we don't see the hamburger button. So we go back here on the styling for the mobile and we're going to do hamburger display block. Okay, perfect. Now if we resize on desktop we're going to see the links and when we resize back 
mobile, we're going to see the button. Okay, let's create the JavaScript so we can toggle the nav. First, let's target the hamburger. And also let's target the nav UL. So both will be a document, get element by ID, hamburger. Okay, and this will be nav UL. All right, and we're going to have a hamburger add event listener click. And here we just want to toggle a class on the nav UL. Nav UL class list toggle and let's call it show. That's it for the JavaScript. Now we need to apply that show class. So for the nav UL, when it has the show class on it, we want it to be display flex. Now let's click the button. All right, look at that. You can see that the menu appears, but it's not how we want it. Basically, we want it to be underneath here. So for that, we're going to do with 100% of the nav UL. Okay, you can see that it pushes 100%, but because the parent doesn't have flex wrap, it doesn't go on the second row. So let's go onto the parent, which is the nav, and let's add here flex wrap. Okay, now look at that. Because the links here are 100%, it pushes on the new row. Okay, but we want them to be on top of each other. So let's change here on the mobile styling to be flex direction column. All right, look at that. So now they are nicely aligned on top of each other. We can toggle it. And if we go on desktop, they appear here on the top right. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, let me know in the comments what kind of tutorial you want me to create in the future. See you in the next video. Bye.